Welcome back to another video. So today's video is a day in the life of a sheep farmer. Hope you enjoy it. Here's what's coming up today. Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! Check. Whoa, stop, stop! The wheel's cut! The wheel! I have to go on 20 years for the MRI. See when I'll be back to full fitness again. First job now, let out the dogs. What oh, dogs? What oh, dog? What's that? So you drop them in, drop it in. So who left them on? You left the key on. So who left them on, you bastard? What's that? What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Chuck. Why will not send so simple? Man. Good morning. You're really bad this morning. There's no weedy bits. I have weedy bits every morning. I was damn lucky to find the Kellogg's corn flakes. See what they keep me going to do. What about an apple for you? Before I go, I have a cup of Barry's tea. You can't beat the Barry's tea. Every morning? Every morning. What about coffee? Oh, I will come near that stuff, that's pretty. Oh, yeah? I don't come near it, I keep away from it. What's the plan for today, sir? Here's a bad day, there can't be much done. But one thing will have to be done. I see a fence there, with field bones in the mountain. Tea for sheep is after knocking the wire in. So we have to go over. Yeah. We must also vaccinate our replacement lambs. This is the second vaccination. No day is the same in the farm. There's always something going wrong or going right. We'll go well out now and do something. First job now, let out the dogs. What oh, dogs? What oh, dog? What's that? Good dog, Lassie. There's lights on the tractor I'm since turn yesterday. Them off. Well, you, 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 you turn left them on. Who left them on? Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, who left them on? Poor people. In and out every minute. Please. So you, you drop them in, drop it in. So who left them on? You left the key on. So who left them on, you bastard? Was that? Oh, God. Was you? You dropped that tractor <laughs> in there, don't you? Do you know what? Do I start now? Do I have to hold it for a minute? Never have to fucking on me doing the black guard. I tried to start. Well, I put the charger on it now. Go, go away, this shit. Go away, this shit for me. Make you cuddle the whole thing. Where are the bars? Look at the bars. Right, the first job we're doing now is we're going to fix up some fencing here with stakes and wear. Because there's a few thieves to break into the fields because we want to keep them. What? Look at the lambs right there. Look at all the cars on the other ship, we're taking away with something. For fuck's sake, we can't open that gate at all at all. Nearly broke my back as just trying to open it. Ah, oh, thing is Jesus done. Jesus Christ, look at the look at the Come on. There walk she is, over one there. of the thieves. She can walk over there. Oh, she's gone. She left it. That's the plane. She ain't left it. She's down the ground. So, there's a few thieves there. There's two of them. They're Come in now, breaking the wire everywhere. So we're gonna, we're gonna give them the market because they're absolute shit made of wire, um, and they're bringing in other sheep because we want to save this now for the ram. Jesus Christ! I'll be kept sight here. The bike is nearly turning over, boy. Just still trill turning over. Oh! Oh! Ha ha ha! Like my hands are broke. I say, let me nail it. No, it's a. That's the question. Hot wood again. Oh. Go on. He don't do my belt now. The lambs I bought up the country in Mayo. And we're going to check these over because these are going to be getting a Beltex ram this year. So they're the only yo lambs that will be getting a ram. So we're going to bring them in, dose them, and check their weights and stuff. Well, There's not there. 40 there at all. Ah. There's some missing. There's not 40 there. Why don't I look over here? I said check over the far side. Um, so we usually would have more grass than this now for the time of the ram. It's pretty slack now in fairness. There's been a cold spill the last two weeks there and there's been no growth at all and it's disappointing enough now because we usually have great grass 
What we usually do is bring the sheep in off the mountains about a week before the ram and flush them, but I'd say the way things are going this year, we'll just be bringing him in the day or two of the ram and just putting the rams with him because if we put them in a week before now this year, they'll have this grass gone the week like and there'll be nothing left for the few weeks with the ram. So we'll have to make a decision that now over the next few days. Holy young bastard. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Check. Sit down, come over here, come over here. All right, last man, chill, go ahead, go ahead, chill. Shut up! Jack, come on, we up, we up, we up, we up, guys. What? Dub, dub, dub! Go ahead and call him on the middle of the road. Call him into the top of the road. Well, they are there. Who's the lame one? Where's the lame one? Yeah, there they are. They're never fucked to them. Bring him on. In the mule, your lambs here that I bought above a mayo off David Prendergast. So these your lambs are going to be going to the ram. So they're going to give you a Beltex ram, an easy, easy lammer. So, so I'm just going to weigh them now, and I'm going to give them an MOT, check their feet, um, weigh them, and give them a fluke and mineral dust. So yeah, we'll see what kind of weights now. It'll be interesting to see how they've came on. They look pretty good. They've been on good grass all along. So we'll see now what weights there. Weighing pretty good. This one here is 52 kgs. So that's the ideal weight now that I want for the ram. So hopefully if I can get most of them to that weight now, they'll be getting the ram probably in three weeks time. So they've still a bit of growing to do. And I'll probably be giving them crystal licks, lick buckets there as well. So we'll keep weighing them away in here. So they're weighing pretty good. This girl here is 50, nearly 58, 59 kgs. So that's a, uh, that's a super weight. Um, so she's absolutely perfect for the ram now. She's probably heavier than somewhere on yours. So the average weight so far there is not far off 50 kgs and I've only a handful put out. But um, I'm in here, in here now to the race for dosing, for fluke. Shh, man. We're dosing the lambs, not two lambs here now. And I'm dosing the way I was doing all the times. No dosing gun. Because I think the dosing guns they weren't reliable, they was, they was now I'll give out the same amount of dose. I always dosed them with a syringe. Give us give us a go, let's see what, what way you do it, sir. I'll just catch the lamb and shoot it back in back in the mouth. That's it. He's dagging lambs here now and he's going to go to the ram. They are new lambs. For the first time ever chanting your lambs to the ram. So that's all these lambs do now. Some lovely Brazilians on them. So hopefully it'll make it a bit easier now for the ram and stuff. But over the next uh, few days as well, we're gonna be bringing in the rest of the yaws and they'll be getting crutched or dagged, whatever you wanna call it, the same as well. So, so yeah. We're feeding a few lambs inside, small lambs too, they put on weight. Feeding the last little ram lambs inside here now because grass is getting scarce, so we want it for the yaws for the time of the ram. Oh jeez. We're going down feeding the rams now. This is a bad day. One. So these are all the rams. Six. Eight. What about down below? I don't know why I tell them on. You won't conk them. Beep the horn there, they'll hear you. They're way down below. Hey! Go, 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 go. Christ, oh, oh God help me. There's always one. Not obeying. Shit. I'm just said once a day. So it won't be long more now till they're gonna be put out to the oars another week for some of them, maybe a bit longer for others. So number one rule of farming, always close the gate. Right. 
Hey man, sir. Not bad, huh? He's bolted. Clear in the water here, man. Back away! Oh, sure, I'm gone, man. Whoa, you're yeah. gone, man. Stop! Come on, lock away! Lock away, man! Lock, lock! Whoa, stop, stop! The wheel is cut! The wheel is cut! Go back out! The wheel is stuck! What for you? These are rams here in Emma Jarry, you know? There's three more for me now, they're outside. He's a shock, it's the Chevy, yeah? he's pretty old. We should have called him, but the majority of him are in good condition. <coughs> oh, sir. Right, that's all the, the rams inside now. So they're going to be fed, ad lib here, and they'll be getting nuts uh, meal fed twice a day as well. So we want their condition up fairly well now. And these will be the first two rams to let go of these five star texels. They were the last two rams we bought, so they'll be going, they'll be going out now in a, a few days. So, so yeah, and this is Blueface. He'll be going to our scotch. A lot of texel there. We have Suffolk's there. We have some Lanarks. And we have a good few Beltex texels as well for rams for easy finishing. So, so that's what we have. In the farm is different. See? I had to go into the doctor, pain my shoulder over an old accident. Shoulder, fierce pain. I have to go to the for him or I. See, we'll be back to full fitness again. We're going vaccinating the old lambs today with the second booster of Covex and 10. So like my father said earlier, no day in the farm is the same and there's always stuff going wrong most days. Some stuff goes right from time to time too, but um, so just a question as well for the followers there. We're going to be leaving the ram go to some of the heavy mule your lambs. And I think I'm going to go with Beltex this year now. A lot of people use Shirley's as well. But what rams do people use on their your lambs and their hoggets? If you could just leave a comment in the comments here, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. So after the first year, they only get one vaccine, uh, one shot of vaccine of Covexin. And that's three weeks before lambing for housing. So they can pass on the antibodies to their lambs as well. So that's what we do usually. But I inject into the shoulder here. And it's kind of one job. I don't rush, but I take my time because it's fairly important. And it's you have, like it's fairly important that you do it, do it right. So I might be a bit slow at it there. People might be looking at it, but I just, I just catch this. I separate the wool, catch the skin up, and put the needle in. So it's a sharp needle because you just only want it just to go into the skin. You don't want it to go into the, any muscle or into any bone there. So just be, just do it slowly. It's, it's fairly key. So. There's grand loose skin here in front of the shoulder and the side of the neck. So the majority of them are mules, shavied and texels. So we haven't really kept Suffolk sound the last two years. Um, when did you start vaccinating lambs and yours? Right, say around the mid, mid 1980s, 85 or 6. Why, why did you start then? Was it well, Laura, uh, eh? You get the, the odd lamb dead. Pneumonia? At the end of the year, no. Black leg or something? Fat and it just swell up. We did. We used to have no, we had no pneumonia. Never had pneumonia. Because Covex and tin doesn't co cover pneumonia. That's hep to back P into. Right, we used to do with Covex and E at that time. There was no Covex and tin. So Covex and tin we covers. We used to once. Once only? Yeah, there was no such thing as twice. Twice, you're supposed to do it. Well, that's. We used to have to, yeah, but we, we used to only do them once. We do them, we do them twice now before lambing. Three weeks before lambing, so it passes. Passes antibodies onto the lambs. Co we used to do that as well. We used to vaccinate the ewes before lambing. Covex and ease. Covers up to 10 things that causes cholesterol diseases in lambs and ewes. 
But um, it seems to work for us. Like, not everyone uses it. A lot of people use hip to back pee. Covexantin is a lot cheaper. So now is the turn to vaccinate some of the pet lambs. Some of the old lambs here. Um, so here's Tiny. She's still as tiny as ever. She's eating more nuts than the bigger lambs below her eating. And she's still, she's still not growing, so... All she'll be is, is a pet, I'm afraid, but sure how bad. So Tiny's always the first one to follow. Oh, is it? Let's try to take the bucket off me. So Tiny is this way there. Jesus, Tiny, you want that? So a small bit of a delay. Tiny and this other lamb here are after hopping into the river. And the other ones are after breaking into this field. So Tiny... Is up to mischief again, lads. I know it's a fine day and all, but tiny, there's no need to go for a swim today. So two of them there after hopping into the river here. Lovely. And tiny's one of them. Tiny, come on. Out you go. Jeez. So for those of you that don't know tiny, tiny got attacked by crows and magpies there uh, two or three times during lambing when she was a pet lamb. And she was very, very shook. To be honest, we didn't know she'd make it. But she's after making a full recovery and all the skin here is after healing, so. So we'll be keeping her as a pet and that's all she'll really be because she's absolutely tiny, but she'd eat anything. You can see here, she's eating the weeds even. Oh, Jesus. Right, lads, come on. Move, move. The tiny lamb, the lamb that nearly died after being attacked by the birds. He's still alive. He's had to come we'll on some bit. We'll wait. We'll wait. No. Have a guess what weight she is. Well, he's no weight. Have a, it's no he, it's a she. About, what weight? About 17 or 80. I'd say she's 24 or 5. No, she. 24 or 5, no. Mm. So tiny is 20 kgs exactly, yeah? a savage. Is she fit for breathing? No. Will you put the ram to her? Too small on her. Look at this tiny lad. So that's it for today's video. Hope you really enjoyed it. And if any, if you have any ideas of videos going forward, just leave a comment in the comments, and we'll see you for the next one. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why bring that sense so simple? Man.